So let me show you this very important webhook feature which is like uh, you know very important when it comes to by passing the buyer's data or the opt-in data to the order responders or any other place of your choice the CRM let's say Google Sheet or wherever you want to add right so uh, I mean what we have done is inside FlexiFunnels we have added the integration with you know uh, all the primary order responders side right over here and uh, you know but but besides that or maybe you know we have added the integration with the webinar platforms but besides that just in case you want to pa pass on the buyer's data or you want to pass on the uh, opt-in data leads data to anywhere else in you know in, to a platform where we don't have the integration so for that you need to use webhooks all right and that is something that you are going to use over here so in the product settings what you need to do is you need to go to set rules and inside set rules you know this is this is where you have set product rules over here you can what you what, what you can do is you know product is purchased for all pricing option this is fine you can use a webhook and now in this case what you need to do is you need to add the webhook URL alright uh, let me show you uh, that how to, how to do the webhook settings and stuff so basically uh, you know I'm into the Zapier account so Zapier is a platform that collects the webhook data and they, there are more platforms like these as well that collects the webhook data and they can pass on the data to the uh, platforms of your choice whether they are autoresponders, CRM or whatever it is so let's say in this example I'm using Zapier alright and uh, uh, so this is you are going to use for using the platform any particular platform that for which we don't have a direct integration with FlexiFunnels alright but you want to use that particular platform for your data so in that case you are going to be using this so over here what you need to do is you need to type webhooks by Zapier alright and now you need to uh, you need to select catch hook inside your Zapier okay you, you will make a Zapier account you will sign up for the Zapier account over there you will click on create a new zap and when you are creating a new zap okay in your new zap you are going to select webhooks by Zapier and then you are going to select catch hook okay catch hook and it will give you the URL webhook URL alright so that's what you are going to put over here in the webhook URL alright and similarly in the webhook name you will pass let's say you know uh, data um, webhook okay test I mean I, I don't have any actual autoresponder or anything over here to pass on the data right so this is how it will start passing the buyer's data to the webhook alright let me uh, what, what I need to do is let me click on continue alright and then what it will do is it will ask you to test the trigger all right so right now as you can see it does not have any data all right it does not have any data but let's let's go ahead and uh, let us purchase this particular product okay so let me go to FlexiFunnels and let me go to this particular project where I have this particular product and let me make the purchase of this particular product okay very quickly so let me go here page URL and let me purchase this product okay so this this is a product that I have connected to this particular sales page and checkout page okay and uh, uh, let me add some details over here over here let me add let's say plus webhook test let's say something random one two three complete order okay let me select okay so I'm just doing the payment with my mobile all right done okay so now it should move to the thank you page okay this is done and more importantly I need to go back to my Zapier and then select test trigger and if you will see that the buyer data has been passed to the Zapier right so I have the phone number I have the name I have the email ID and in just in case if I would have been adding you know if I would have added uh, more details over there let's say more fields in the checkout page so more data would have got passed okay let's say let's say uh, address or any other thing right so that's how you will be able to pass on the 
data through webhook to zapier and from here you can pass on to any platform of your choice let's say you want to pass on to aweber i mean just saying you know we already have an integration with aweber but just in case or maybe zoom webinar or let's say you know you want to pass to google sheets and i mean th they have like tons of integrations so wherever you want to pass right similarly you can also pass the opt-in data to webhooks right so inside the opt-in page inside your lead generation page you can go to the settings okay let me cl uh, close this so inside your opt-in form you can click on settings and over here you need to click on i mean f by default this would be selected you need to click on these settings and over here you need to connect uh, click on connect here all right and now you need to click on webhook so over here same thing you will give webhook a name any name that you want to give and you will give a url and after that once you give the url uh, just like you just saw where whenever somebody will uh, you know sign up for this particular page particular opt-in field and the data will get passed to the webhook and from there you can pass it on to any other platform got it so this is how you are going to use the webhook feature